God bless you on today. I'm coming forth with another inspired message by the Holy Ghost. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Yahushua Yamashia. I ask that the Holy Ghost fire would burn through me. Burn every demonic stronghold of the spirit, mind, body, and soul concerning the individual, groups, cities, states, countries, lineage, and the matchless name of Yahushua Yamashia. Let your resurrection power bring forth the image and identity of your glory and the lives of the hearer Satan, we renounce and denounce your roots and branches of bitterness, rebellion, and rejection, and everything connected to that. We command the root and the branches of the satanic forces and the mind, spirit, souls, and lives of the hearer to be burned to ashes by Holy Ghost fire, according to Psalms 97 and 3. Revelation 29 and 10. Father, we thank you for victory in Yeshua's name. Amen. I'm coming to you with a message called, What Did You Hear? It's time to obey, folks. Again, this message is called, What Did You Hear? It's time to obey, folks. I'm going to be starting out in Matthew chapter 4. Looking at the life of the Messiah. Here's the prime example. But before I do that, I want to share a statistic with you and some resources to help you. In Luke 4.18, it says the Messiah came to minister the good news to the oppressed. Those that are frustrated. Those that are feeling tormented, rejected, and hopeless and helpless. Many times, ministers in churches give messages that are not relevant or connected to the practical lives of everyday people. In other words, a lot of people sometimes can't relate to what's going on. <clears throat> so here's some resources, starting off with a statistic that you can relate to. We see the situation with Puff Daddy and all this other stuff going on. God is wanting his body to wake up. So here we go. Concerning illegal sex trafficking, the industry, an estimated 25 million people worldwide are affected. 80% of those individuals are pushed into forced labor through violence, sexual abuse, drugs, intimidation, blackmail, and 20% are in sex trafficking acts. That includes adults and children. Again, the illegal sex trafficking industry victimizes 25 million people worldwide. It's a worldwide demonic situation. 80% of those individuals are in forced labor, violence, sexual abuse, intimidation, drugs, kidnapping. 20% are actually involved in sex acts, prostitution. That's adults, men and women, their children, male and female. For example, in Mexico, many times a poor family living in the ghetto will hear a strong knock on the door, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, the son will be taken by the Mexican cartel and forced into drug or sex trafficking. After that male is used up, nine times out of ten, the family will never see that individual again. So we have Derricka Wilson, <clears throat> co-founder of Black and Missing Children. You can find this sister on LinkedIn. She has a lot of knowledge in law enforcement knows the laws in and out. She's trained in martial arts, uh, gun tactics, and the whole nine yards. She's on LinkedIn. She's in Maryland. That number is 240-473-3455. And I'll try to get this again at the end of the video. 
Samuel Scott, Grandmaster of the Martial Arts. He has great programs. He also has a book called The Bully Problem, Don't Let Your Child, Don't Leave Your Child in the Hands of a Bully. It's a book you can find on Amazon. And he also has a program. He comes and speaks in schools and organizations. You can reach him through his website. He's also on Facebook. He's on LinkedIn. He's a very good resource. He's involved with law enforcement, all kinds of good stuff. He also has military special black ops training. These people are heavyweights here. Number three, Sharon Gill, helping women in business, coaching and consulting. You can look her up under Gill Consulting and Coaching on the internet. Sammy Williams from Connecticut. She helps women in business. She's a multi-award winning entrepreneur, digital content strategist, public speaker, writer. She does resumes, things of that nature as well. Her number is 203-800-7119. Then on Facebook, you have Tramel Lawrence. His group is called Dear Brothers, Dear Sisters. He gives sound advice concerning dating. And other people chime in and give sound advice concerning dating. The do's, the don'ts. You can write something anonymously, whatever you're going through, the challenges in your dating situation. They won't mention your name. However, they will give input on solid, logical answers. A lot of wise people in that group. He also has a book called Dear Brothers, Dear Sisters, Listen Up. You can find that on Amazon. Now, there's a law office of Zulu Ali, Z-U-L-I-A-L-I. -I. Phone number is 1-888-662-3049. This brother and his dynamic team have won all kinds of awards for being the top criminal law office in America. This is a brother. He's got a good team. So check that out if you need the help. Number seven, National Rape Crisis Center, 1-800-656-4673. The National Rape Crisis Center number again is 1-800-656-4673. You have the National Suicide Hotline this is number eight. The number is 988. So reach out if you need help concerning suicide, depression, insomnia, negative thoughts about hurting yourself or someone else. National Suicide Hotline is 988, 24 seven. It's in English and in Spanish. Also, we have the Fair Housing Commission. In your state, if you're facing something with a landlord that's unrighteous, contact the Fair Housing Commission of your state. <clears throat> then you have consumer protection in your state. If you bought a product, had a service through an agency, and got gypped out of your money or treated unfairly, contact the Consumer Protection Agency in your state. So these are some solid resources to help you in your everyday situations. So let's go to Matthew chapter 4. Again, this message is called, What Did You Hear? It's time to obey, folks. So we're going to go to Matthew chapter 4. <clears throat> Look at verse 8. Again, the devil took the Messiah to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their wealth or splendor. Verse 9. All this, Satan said, will I give you, Messiah, if you will bow down and worship me. The Messiah said unto him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left the Messiah, and angels ministered unto the Messiah. What did you hear? It's time to obey, folks. What did you hear in this scripture? You heard me read that the devil tempted the Messiah to bow down and worship him. That's what you heard. But the proper interpretation 
of that bowing down is not only compromise, not only physically bowing, but as you bow, you bend over. The devil offered the Messiah a homosexual act of demonic worship. I stated before and I'll say it again. Demon possession comes through drugs, straight up witchcraft, and unrighteous sexual interaction and acts. That's why the devil offered it to the Messiah in Matthew chapter 4 and the other Gospels, and particularly verses 8 through 11 in this Bible that you read and I read. So that's what you heard. And a lot of people are hearing that enticement, that invitation, and they're not saying no to it. There are 38 pastors that have been listed, connected to Puff Daddy and his unrighteous acts and racketeering, particularly the sexual acts. That list will be released as things go on. So let's go to Matthew 28, and we're going to look at verse 16. What did you hear? Right now, God is talking strongly to the believers. Matthew 28, the born-again believers. And we're going to go to verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where the Messiah had told them to go. When they saw the Messiah, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then the Messiah came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth, God the Father, has given to me the Messiah. Therefore go and make disciples in all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Verse 20. And teaching them to obey everything. I will be with you always to the very end of the age. <clears throat> so what did you just hear? I heard a command by the Father given through the Son, the Messiah, for us as born-again, blood-washed believers to teach this gospel to everyone we can. There's nothing in those verses that say sit, go to a church, hear a message, or by video, hear a message, and then don't obey. It's time to obey, folks. This is not a suggestion given by God the Father, God the Son, or the Holy Ghost. It is a command. And that command has not been obeyed. So God, pulling back the covers of all this unrighteousness to shake up not only the world, but to shake up his body, especially so-called leaders, to get in line and teach the people within your social circle, how to win souls for the glory of the Father and saints who are not inside of a ministry, of attending a facility of worship to teach other people how to win souls and to win souls yourself. So let's go to Luke chapter 10, verse 1. What did you hear? I'm hearing the command to go and to be active. Thank God I saw today that Brother Roland McLaughlin put something about salvation up on Facebook. Brother Roland has been saved over 20, 30 years. He's seasoned in the gospel. A man you can trust, a man of wisdom. As a matter of fact, Brother Roland, when I was with Outreach for Christ, was the one that encouraged me and helped me to boost off into Sunday school. So God bless you, my brother. So let's go to Luke chapter 10. And I'm going to be starting at the first verse. After this, the Messiah appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he himself would go. He told them the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Ask the Father, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. So he said, pray that the Father would send labors into the harvest field, the world. I'm going to jump down to verse 17. The 72 returned, 
and they were joyful, saying, Messiah, even the demons are subject unto your name. He replied, I saw a saint that fall like lightning from heaven. Verse 19 of Luke 10. I've given you authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And what he's saying is, as you use the Father's authority, as you use my the Messiah's authority that he's given us, people will be born again, saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, set free and delivered, and their names will be added to the Lamb's book of life. What did you hear? I just heard another command for the people in the body to get off their behinds, stop being lazy, and get busy and effective for God Almighty. He said, I've given you the power over the enemy. But Brother Mike, I have problems. Problems only exist so that you and I can lean on the Heavenly Father, the Son of God, and the power of the Holy Ghost to revelate us and show us how to overcome them with God's wisdom and then be a living epistle, a written letter of God's good news and also to give testimonies. Words have power to others about what God has done for us. That will cause other people to be drawn to the Father through the Messiah by the convicting fire and power of the Holy Ghost. So tell me what part of that verse that you didn't understand. I mean, it's plain and simple. We are called to expose darkness, not by keeping our mouths shut and hanging out with the devil, but by exposing the works of the enemy and doing what God told us to do. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 5 in the New Testament. The Apostle Paul, who was anointed by God, wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. And what does it say in verse 6 of Ephesians chapter 5? Verse 6 says, as I go through this small printed Bible, let no man deceive you with empty words. For because of such things, God's wrath or judgment comes on those who are disobedient, rebellion. Therefore, do not be partners with them. Do you not know, as Derek Prince says, and the Bible backs up, the greatest sin of America is the spirit of witchcraft, rebellion. There are many born-again so-called believers involved with rebellion. Verse 8 of Ephesians 5 for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of the light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases God. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness. It's even a shame to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible for it is light that makes everything visible. This is why it is said, Wake up, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Verse 15, Ephesians 5. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. And then verse 17, I believe, deals with redeeming the time. Paying attention to the time frame of God and the time frame of 24 hours in a day. We again, as born-again believers, God's appealing to you and rebuking you. Those that have not been witnessing. Those of you that have not been testifying. Those of you women that have not been sharing not only the gospel, but going to food banks and giving food to the struggling mother that's single with children. How about prison fellowship? Google it and you can donate money and it's not being used in a wrong manner to send Bibles to those in prison. 
How about fathers? Single men and married men that are born again, Holy Ghost filled, know the gospel, speaking to the drug dealers, speaking to the gang members at first, and then taking them out for coffee and telling them the good news about how God loves them and wants them to be set free from the situation that they're in. The scripture says to expose. Again, what did you hear? I didn't hear a suggestion by God. You heard a command. Folks, it's time to obey. Let's go to Psalms 119. A very popular and familiar psalm. It is time to obey God. What did you hear? I'm hearing commandments of God. <clears throat> Psalms 119 verse 1. Blessed are all those who are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord, meaning the obedient. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. So here we see in Psalms 119, jump to verse 16. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Not neglecting means I don't just read it, but I obey it. And also in this psalm, you'll find the verse where it says, Your word is a lamp and a light unto my feet. It lightens up the pathway, showing where there's darkness, so we won't get involved, and showing where there's darkness in the lives of others, so that we can help them to come out, not by our own strength, but by the power of the gospel of the Messiah. Very important to read and obey the word of God. Psalms 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it. Next verse. That I will follow your righteous laws. So that means being obedient. And that's why this message is coming forth. To be obedient. Have you ever watched a martial arts movie? Quite sure you have. Where the good guys are against the bad guys. The good guys always end up working together in unison to take over the bad guys. It's very important. Imagine yourself, and one good example is war at the Shoulder Temple. Imagine yourself in the army. Drill sergeant says lights out at 11 o'clock. You go to sleep only to be waken up by a loud, authoritative, boisterous voice of that same drill sergeant, fully dressed. Everything is neat and clean on him. Boots are shining. And he commands the company of soldiers to get up, get dressed, and makes you run for five miles. What did you hear? You heard a command. That command is to be obeyed because if you don't, insubordination has heavy charges and results in the military and even more heavy charges in God's army. Because if you don't want to end up in hell, born again believer, filled with the Holy Ghost, with the mighty burning fire, you need to obey God. Start ordering tracks. Jack T. Chip. Google it. There's a phone number. You can order online for $11. You can get 25 tracks plus shipping and handling. Churches, you can order more if you're serious about God. Let's talk about the armor of God. What did you hear? I heard it's time to obey. Ephesians chapter 6. It's time to obey God, folks. The world is in a mess only because not only does the devil exist, but the devil has hoodwinked too many believers with their permission to sit down on the seat of do nothing. Keeping their mouths closed, working on jobs and careers, nobody knows you're born again, you're hiding it, you're scared, and all these things that are not an excuse. You need to repent and get it together with God. Ephesians chapter 6. Finally be strong in the Lord, not weak, doubt, or fearful. And his, his mighty power, put on the full armor of God 
so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Now, in King James, it says the wiles or acts of the devil. For we struggle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, authorities, powers of darkness in the world, spiritual forces in the heavenly realm. Therefore, put on the full arm of God that you may be able to stand your ground after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then. And I'm going to go into the close of the armor of God. When this verse says stand, what you heard was stand. What does it mean? It just doesn't mean to stand. Let's go on. And I'll tell you that in a minute. Stand firm then with your belt of truth buckled around your waist, God's truth, with the breastplate of God's righteousness in his place, and with your feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, shalom, shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken. And in addition to all this, take the shield of faith, which you will be able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, you can't forget. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer requests. With this in mind, be alert. And always keep on praying for all the saints. Now, this armor is named, and a lot of people quote it. It's very specific. Helmet of salvation. How do you get the mind of Christ? You have to read the word. You have to pray and be quiet and listen to the Holy Ghost to give you revelation. The breastplate of righteousness. We are the righteousness of God because of the shed blood of the Messiah. The shield of faith, quenching all the fire darts of the enemy. You have to walk in faith, whatever you're going through. However it feels, you have to trust God through it all because it's by his wisdom, mercy, favor, and grace we come out on the other side. You have to realize you're already starting from a position of victory. Feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, shalom, shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Where you go, there should be peace, wholeness. Brokenness shall be destroyed and peace of God shall come forth wherever you go. The sword of the spirit is not only the written word, but God's spoken word, a rhema. Again, seeking God, listening to the Holy Ghost instructions. Loins good about with truth. God's truth, a lot of us have been programmed and watered down with fleshly and satanic lies. I command the Holy Ghost to burn that unrighteousness out of you right now. This armor is not to be just quoted. A soldier puts on armor for action. So when it says stand, you heard stand, but what you need to hear right now is don't just stand with armor on doing nothing. You stand and attack the works of the enemy. Look in Hebrews, why did the Messiah come? The Messiah came to destroy the works of the devil. Look in the Gospels. The Messiah could not destroy the works of the devil by sitting down doing nothing. He got up. He preached the Gospel. He laid hands on the sick. He cast out devils. He raised the dead. He rebuked the religious leaders who were involved with rebellion and the Kabbalah. I've been to Israel. I had a Pharisee point something out to me as an artifact in the floor of the temple of Jerusalem. And that Pharisee was possessed by a demon. And I saw it in his eyes by the power of the Holy Ghost. So I looked at it and I studied. The so-called Jews today, a lot of them are involved with witchcraft. If you look at the Old Testament, God told them, don't get involved with the women. Don't worship their gods because that's rebellion. Witchcraft against me is toxic, it's dangerous. They're doing the same thing today. They are highly involved with the music industry, highly involved with Clive Davis, highly involved with the murder of Michael Jackson, highly involved with Cayenne West, Puff Daddy, and these 38 pastors that are connected to this demonic situation. Wake up, people. What did you hear? I hear the kingdom 
of heaven suffered violence, the violent taken by force. With the armor of God, we should be moving forward, not backwards. So the armor of God is to be put to use. I talked about ladies and even gentlemen that are born again, passing out tracts. Young ladies, you can invite a young lady to tea or coffee. Talk to her about the gospel of the Messiah. Don't lead her to your pastor. Don't lead her to your church. Lead these people to God and his kingdom. You can donate to various charities, uh, uh, places with their orphans. You can do that. You can go to the food banks, as I said earlier, and get food, even if you take some for yourself. Make sure you share it with your neighbors. Prison fellowship, I mentioned that earlier. Ministering through your economics to get Bibles. And you can even witness to mothers, single or wed, born again men, fathers, single or wed, they have a son or daughter in prison. Comfort them with the words of God, pray with them for their soul salvation, salvation of their loved ones that are away. So you want to remember these things. And I want to mention another resource, uh, Grandmaster Odette, O-D-E-T-T-E, -E, Russell. She has a rape program. She is a highly skilled combat strategist and martial artist. So before I pray, I want to go over these resources that I mentioned again. Remember, <clears throat> the name of this message is, What Did You Hear? It's Time to Obey. The illegal sex trafficking industry has over 25 million people worldwide victimized, 80% into forced labor, 20% into sex trafficking. That includes adults and children. Number one is Derricka Wilson, <clears throat> D-E-R-R-I-C-A, Wilson, co-founder of Black and Missing Foundation. You can find her on LinkedIn, L-I-N-K-E-D-I-N. She's located in Maryland. Phone number. 240-473-3455, 240-473-3455. Samuel Scott, Google him on Facebook, Google him, he has a blog, thorough martial artist, a book, The Bully Problem, Don't Leave Your Child in the Hands of a Bully. He also speaks to churches, groups, schools. Man has over 30 years, law enforcement, special ops, military training, combat strategy, up the, his, his resume looks like a book itself. Sharon Gill for Women in Business, Coaching and Counseling. Her blog is called Gill, G-I-L-L, -L, Coaching and Consulting. Google that, ladies that are in a business, want to get involved with the business. Sammy Williams also goes by the name Samantha. She's out of Connecticut for Women in Business. That number is 203 800-7119. You can find Sammy on Facebook. You can find her on LinkedIn. L-I-N-K-E-D-I-N. -E She's out of Connecticut. She's a multi-award winning entrepreneur. This sister knows what she's doing. She's originally out of Queens, New York. Now she lives in Connecticut. <clears throat> Sound Advice on Dating. Facebook. It's called DBDS. Tramel Lawrence. He has a book title dear brothers dear sisters listen up that's on amazon you have need of legal advice the law offices of z-u-l-i a-l-i zulu ali 1-888-682-3049 dial that number excellent team brothers winning all kinds of awards him and his team for just I mean, they're just making some serious moves and helping people. Number seven, the National Rape Crisis, 1-800-656-4673. The National Rape Crisis Center, 1-800-656-4673. And if you know somebody that's struggling in that area, male or female, young or old, encourage them call that number. It's vitally important that they get counseling. It's a 
very traumatic experience. You've seen the young lady, Thyla Graves, how shook she was. And guys that coming forth 20, 30 uh, years later that have been involved with Catholic institutions that have been raped by priests, and they cover that stuff up, which is wicked. The National Suicide Hotline is 988. The National Suicide Hotline is 988. Then you have Fair Housing Commission in your state, dealing with a housing issue, Fair Housing Commission in your state. Product or service you're dissatisfied with, need to get your money back, want to alert public about unrighteous services or products, consumer protection in your state, and the Better Business Bureau. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message of what did you hear? We are hearing commands for the body of Christ to get out of your foolishness, get out of your laziness, get out of your sin, be a witness and a strong witness for the Messiah, for the glory of God, and let the power of the Holy Ghost use you to come go forth. It's time to obey. And Heavenly Father, we thank you for people giving their hearts to God. If you're a sinner, say these words. Heavenly Father, I repent of my sins. I receive you into my life. Take full control. Wash me in the blood of your Son, the Messiah. Fill me with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Lead and guide me day by day. Backslider, Heavenly Father, I come back to you. Shower me with your love. Cleanse me with the blood of the Messiah. Destroy every yoke. Remove every burden. Refill me with the Holy Ghost. Create in me a clean heart. Restore unto me your glory in my life. Lead and guide me day by day. Back slitting, born again minister, leader, believer. Heavenly Father, I repent right now. Destroy these demonic yokes and burdens in my life by the blood of the Messiah and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Use me to be a righteous witness after you've built me up and fully restored me to my rightful frame of mind, heart, and actions in the matchless name of the Messiah. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy yokes, to remove burdens, to heal minds, spirits, souls, and bodies of sinners and saints and I command the Holy Ghost fire to get underneath the lazy born-again believers to obey God in whatever area he has told you to move now in the name of Yahushua, Yamashiach. Destiny helpers, come forward now. Help for the widows and the widowers and the orphans, come forth now in the matchless name of Yahushua, Yamashiach. Works of Satan be destroyed by the fire of God now in the matchless name of Yahushua Yamashiach. The blood is against you. No weapon formed against the vision, heart, plan, purposes, and pursuits of God shall prosper. These words are spirit. They are life to destroy the works of the devil, to build and multiply the soldiers in God's army, and to lift up and multiply and advocate God's perfect will, his wisdom, his favor, and his ways to multiply and expand the kingdom of God Almighty, El Shaddai, double-breasted one. The nourisher. El Shaddai the rock. El Shaddai the deliverer. El Shaddai the fruitful one. El Shaddai the judge and jury. El Shaddai the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the prince of peace, the mighty counselor, the light of God the fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn and expose the works of darkness. Burn and expose those that are lost and trapped. 
runaways. Convict them. Lead them to a safe place. Lead other people who are righteous and moral to help them out of their situation. Gang members that desire to depart from that atmosphere, Holy Ghost fire, burn their bondages off of them, set them free, send destiny helpers to assist them in the matchless name of Yahushua Yamashiach. El Shaddai, the supernatural God. We command your double portion to move. Restoration to move like never before. Financial abundance to move like never before. An increase of your presence to move like never before. An increase of your presence to move like never before. Blessings upon families, especially widows, widowers, and orphans to move like never before. Supernatural deliverance to move like never before. Your miracle working power to move like never before. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for being our light. We thank you, Abba Father, for deliverance. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for restoration of the backslide. We thank you for healing Father Grace spiritually, emotionally, and physically in her body and any other man, woman, boy, or girl that has suffered at the hands of a rapist. And we command that rapist and the one committed the assault to be captured by the authorities and the mighty name of Yahushua Yamashiach. We thank you for the angels of God that encamp round about us and protect the young and innocent homes where there's ruckus and abuse. We command those parents to be exposed, bullies to be exposed and dealt with by the fire and power of the Holy Ghost. Those that are dealing with unfair housing situations, Holy Ghost move and super rule in that incident and those situations right now. Expose the works of the enemy. Bring your Shekinah glory into it like you did when Solomon dedicated the temple. It said the glory cloud filled the temple and the priests could not stand. They fell down. Take over the flesh in the league in these matters in the matchless name of Yahushua Yamashiach. You are the light, Heavenly Father. You are the wisdom. You are the grace. Halakur Rabashata. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Yahushua Yamashiach, we thank you for destroying the works of the devil and establish your kingdom in the lives of the people. Harubosha. Bring down every minister who refuses to obey and bring down every person in politics who's rebellious. You said suffer not a witch to live. A lot of you better watch how you're voting, especially if you're born again. I keep telling you, watch the number two, the word strong about Othello. O-T-H-E-L-L-O. -L -L you will see people in politics that a lot of people are praising, especially black folk. Don't call it trip. God trip. That are misleading people have done it for years. Wanted Hillary Clinton in, couldn't get her in, put in Obama. He jacked things up with homosexuality, unemployment. It's the God honest truth. He left, Biden comes in, he pulls out. Here comes Kamala Harris, a full blown witch. In the mighty name of Yahushua Yamashiach. Father, I thank you for your truth. What did you hear? You heard truth. You heard God's command. For, uh, believers, get off your behind. Do what God told you to do. So God bless you. Have a safe weekend. Play this video. Share it with someone that's saved and unsaved. The master's name of Yahushua Yamashiach. Amen and amen.